Hey guys, we're the Power Up Princesses. I'm Annie. I'm Juliana. I didn't know we were starting. Sorry, I'm talking about my homoromantic tendencies with my friends. Yeah, like we were just having a conversation. Well, I didn't. Re- I didn't. I didn't realize that this was going on. I'm eating pudding, so I don't really know what's happening. Okay, so we just started a new level. It's called Rust. Um. Mm-hmm. Anyways, so what I was talking about was uh, how I d- I don't have a lot of male friends because. Um, I don't know, a lot of males that I talk to, this is not a tendency of all males, but it's a tendency of a lot of males to just be like, a female Mm -hmm. who's talking to me, she's madly in love with me. (laughs) And that drives me crazy. So I I avoid males like that, uh, like on a daily basis. And, uh, all right, three seconds of the episode and I'm stuck. Why don't you go? Hold on. I think, I think this is like a switch thing. Oh, I know what I'm supposed to do. Hold on. All right. Um, and I was talking about how I have a lot of female friends, and I'm glad, and I was talking about how I've never experienced, um, like, a female friend being weirded out at the fact that I'm a lesbian or anything, mm-hmm. because, um, just because I don't pick friends like that. Um. Because you wouldn't have a friend like that in the first place. Yeah. Yeah. And, um, oh, Jesus Christ. I, and oh, maybe I'm supposed to go down there. Um, I really want some toast. Toast? Yeah. Cool. Mm-hmm. Um, and then I was talking about how I'm very homoromantic with my friends in the first place. Like, I frequently tell all of my friends that I love them and that I'd marry them in a heartbeat. <laughs> like, the other day, I went up to Annie and I was like, Annie, I love you and you're my best friend. Yep, I was at my locker. Um, and I do that with all of my friends. Like, I'd pick up, I'd pick their hands up and, like, kiss their hands. Mm-hmm. But it's just, like, a thing that I do. It's not, like, a, like, a lesbian thing. <laughs> I mean, it is, because I'm a lesbian, and it's a thing I do. <laughs> but it's not, like, a lesbian... The, it's, it's, uh, <laughs> it's not the cause of it. Yeah. It's correlation, not causation. Yeah. Um, okay, so... So, I think... You want to consult your laptop brain on this? No, because I don't have Wi-Fi at this house. Mm, you want to consult my, my... No, I think that you should un unhook there and hu- unhook the bridge and go explore down there. I did. Okay, what about to the left? There's nothing. No, I meant up over the car and to I the did. left. I did. I was up there. I when? just went back there. When? Well, that's where I fucking came from. Was I really only staring at my, my pudding? Look at this. Do you see this? And then I run out of yarns because I'm attached over there. Okay, go the other way then. And look into the sky. What, why is it so bright right here? I don't know. It's like know. fucking Jesus. <laughs> Sorry. Um. Um. I'm not really quite sure what I'm supposed to be doing right now. I don't know either. I'm gonna tie this right here. You can hand me your phone if you want. Thanks. Here you go. Um. God, what episode are we on on this playthrough? Like 20 something? I don't know. I don't. I don't have Wi-Fi. I think so we're I can't. almost done with this game. Okay. We're pretty close, right? I'm. I'm trying to remember your passcode. It's seven six four eight. I did six seven four eight. Well, you're a loser. So. That was so close, though. Um. What is this? The seventh one? The eighth one? There's twelve. Um. I don't know. It's rust is the level. Okay. Uh, this is a really interesting episode so far, guys. Um, rabble. Yeah. All right, I'll try to go back up there again. See if there's anything in the sky. Um. Nope. You guys know that song "Don't Trust Me" by Three O Three? Is that the band? This is the tenth one. Wild. Yeah, Three O Three. Um. Three O H Three. So I, my friend Michael was in the car with me the other day, and he was like, um. He was, I was like, he, he got all excited, he was like, <gasps> and like, took the aux cord out of my phone, and I was like, uh, bitch, no? Wait, continue to the right until you see two more hooks, make a bridge between them, and launch yourself to the right. Yeah, that's this. Continue going right until you see a bunch of tires. One will be standing vertically. Can't. You can't. There's you- yarn right there. No! Do you- can you I think I'm gonna unhook. Unhook? Yeah. Wait. I think I'm I'm gonna attach right here with a little bow. 
and then come down here and deattach this and oops and deattach oh jesus christ and deattach this and then climb back up and unattach it from there okay um anyways i i hand him my aux cord because i'm like oh, okay he's got some pretty okay song choices um and then he plays that fucking song and i was like oh mm -hmm. he's like i really like this song and i'm just like are you, are you joking because okay that song was popular like straight up when i was in middle school yeah and like in middle school it was like don't trust me yeah and like it was like so cool to like that song yeah make a bridge oh i forgot <laughs> um and uh but he he's sitting there and like that part comes up where he's like um if he says he's got beef then i'm a vegetarian and i ain't fucking scared of him i hate that part I hate that part with a burning passion. It's so good, though. It's so bad. It's so good. And if you like that song, like, whatever, you like what you like, but I do not like that song. And, uh... I haven't thought of that song in so long. I, I, I hadn't either until Michael fucking played it on my stereo. <laughs> it was wild. I'm really cold, Ooh, but yeah. I'm sitting on um, the blanket. Uh... That sucks. Whoa. Um... Whoa. So I'm stuck here forever. Can you jump? I think I'm making some progress. Here we go. That sucks that I lost all that yarn, but what are you gonna do? Well, you might have to restart. No, I'm good. Okay. Okay, so I'm really cold, but- Ah! But I'm sitting on the blanket, so like the blanket is warm under me. Yeah. So I don't want to take the blanket out from under me. Yeah. It's a predicament. Whoa, 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 stay on the thing. Um, I tried. I, no, you fell off. I tried. No, you fell <laughs> off. Um, and then, so speaking of songs that are cringeworthy, uh, all of Blink-182. Mm -hmm. Not all of it, some of their songs are pretty good, but like, um, I hate, okay, so one of their singers is pretty out, god, I never learn, I don't learn. I have no capacity Try. for learning. Try to stay on the thing. I'm gonna try. You um, died. So I'm gonna try, okay. Okay. Whatever. What the? How, really? Stay on the thing? How am I supposed to do that? Uh, I wasn't watching. Oh, the little fucking... Oh, I get it. I understand. Okay. Whoa. I know what I'm supposed to do. Hey, guys. Okay. So, I know I've already said this. I don't have Wi-Fi at the place that I'm house-sitting. Mm-hmm. And, um, so all I've been doing is reading because I never think about watching TV because I don't have, like, I watch YouTube. I don't have cable at my house except, like, in my room. Um, and so I've just been reading. So I read the whole fifth Harry Potter book, which is 800 pages. And I'm now reading the sixth one, and I'm already, like, 35% of the way through, and I started it, like, two days ago. And I'm really excited about it, because it's really good, and I've really been missing out. Mm -hmm. Have you read them? Yeah, I've read all of them. I read all of them when I was, like, 11. Oh, yeah, we talked about this. And it took me, like, a week. Yeah. No, I'm a really slow I, reader. I read at the speed of light. I do not. I'm really Like, slow. Annie, Annie, remember that one time you lent me, like, 12 books, mm -hmm. and I finished them in, like, one week? Yeah, you still have my Girl with the Dragon Tattoo book. Mm-hmm. I know. Good. Just as long as you know. Uh, I took it as penalty because we're not friends anymore. What? <laughs> what? I'm pretty sure I took it and then I knew that I had it, but I was mad at you for not talking to me for like oh, four yeah. months. Yeah. So I was like, I'm never giving it back. It's, it's Annie's penalty. I know. and I. Really, but now we, now we talk to each other. I really like that book because it goes with my set. And my set, because I've read the second one and I've read some of the third one, um, mm -hmm. they're like beat up. As mm -hmm. much as the first one is. Yeah, I got you. And so if I just, like, bought a brand new first one... It would look weird. Yeah. So I want my first one back. Cool. You want to give me my first one back? No. I haven't read it yet. Read it. It's really boring for the first 300 pages, but yeah, the next 300 pages, really good. I tried to read it one time, but I was like... Mm. Same with the, with the... That's how I am with, um... Oh, God. Okay, so my, my parents are really big into fantasy. Yeah. 
like fantasy books. Mm -hmm. um, like they read all of George R. R. Martin's stuff before it became a show and stuff like that. And oh wow, so they're they're fantasy hipsters. Well, yeah, but they're you Game know, of Thrones okay, hipsters. Okay, do you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Yeah, I do. Okay, um, and so like my parents. Please don't title the episode Game of Thrones Hipsters. I'm I hate not, you. It's, it's not. It's, You're typing right now. Let me see. It's a fantasy hipsters. Oh. <laughs> um, and uh, so they, like, they, they really like fantasy stuff. Like, Piers Anthony. Remember him? Yes, I do. So I know him my, well. Annie, I don't want to hear that. Um, my dad is the one who introduced me to him. Yeah. Oh, he's an author, guys. Yeah, he's a really weird fantasy author. I haven't, I, okay, I will, I will accept that you haven't read Girl with the Dragon Tattoo because I have not been able to finish Veil in the Wall. Yeah, it's alright. So. I'm, I'm, uh, that book is very strange. Well, so is Girl with the Dragon Tattoo. Like, it's 600 pages of your life and the first 300 are super boring. Yeah, um, I, I enjoy Piers Anthony because his writing is super weird. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't, he's, I don't enjoy it because it's, like, good writing or anything like that. Yeah. It's very um, strange. It what, is. What's happening? What, what is that? I want oh, that. You, you'll probably have to go to the other side. Wait, go stand on the can on the other side again. I, I see that that's moving, but I'm not... No, but go, go stand over there. I don't want it to go anywhere. Not that can. That can. Look at the top. Can you, can you, no, you can't. Got it. Um, uh, and, and he's very, very strange as far as, um, like, typical fantasy authors go. Yeah. He, like, um, he does stuff, like, uh, one of, in one of his books, I don't know which one it is, like, an ellipsis pops up, and that's how he, like, differentiates time, like, time passing. Mm -hmm. Um, and, which is common, obviously. But then the characters are like, did you see that? And you're like, what the mm -hmm. fuck? And then they're like, and then he's like, uh, uh, yeah, what? It's like a new character. And he's like, what are those big dots in the sky? That's and it was so like, weird. It was very, like, meta. Yeah, yeah. And it was like, okay, what the fuck? I have a, uh, I have a bridge. Please let me have. Um, it was very meta. And he does stuff like that a lot. Like, um, the one that you're, that I told you to read is my favorite because it's so fucking random and extra. I've talked about it before on the show, too. Yeah, and, like, I know that. Because, like, I read a good 150 pages of it. Yeah. You know, like, and it's not that long of a book. Like, uh, the entire premise is, like, this dude had a fort and, a, <laughs> like, so... he straight up just had a fort and then a, a sex demon was, like, hey. That uh, was, like, disguised as a pillow. Yeah, it was, she was disguised as a pillow. And... She was like, hey, I want this fort. And he was like, but it's my fort. And then she was like, I'll have sex with you for this fort. And then he was like, mm, uh, no, nah, I want the fort. And then she was like, no, it's my fort. And then and then he's like, I'm not cool with that. And then they go on an adventure. <laughs> yeah. I know. And then there's and it like... Doesn't, it doesn't sound like it makes any sense, but... It doesn't! I don't understand what's happening. Um, it, it totally does not make sense. Yeah. But it's, it's super funny. And I just, like, I adore reading them because they're so funny. And then, like, um, near the end of the book, um, the, the main character gets with this girl, but she's, like, made of metal. And, um, she can't, uh, have sex with him because she's made of metal. Mm -hmm. And they literally find a stone. They, like, it's, like, this whole quest thing that enables her to have sex with him hmm. and they like it's the funniest thing and it's so extra and then there's this whole scene where she's like i want you to have it and he's like but you're the one with the metal vagina and then she's like but i i want you to feel like i, I want us to be bonded together so i can only ever have sex with you and and that way I'm bonded to you and I can't leave you. And it was like, well, no, he can have sex with whoever, whoever the fuck he wants. Hmm. And I just thought it was so extra and funny. Yeah. Um, and a lot of his books are like that. There was one that I did not like. Wait, will you look at the perspective on that car real quick? I don't like it. Yeah, okay. 
Not Steve Okay. Okay. Um, there's one of his books that I really did not like. I can't. I can't remember what it was called. Maybe it wasn't his, but it, there was a fantasy book that I read one time, um, and it like um, this woman. I, I don't think it was written by Piers Anthony actually, but this woman was like um, all oh, fucked up the because she had like uh, she like I don't know she wanted to get with this dude but the rules for getting with this dude because he was like a king or something was um you had to be able to procreate the the family line or whatever Mm -hmm. and she was like uh basically asexual because she had uh bad experiences with sex in her youth Mm -hmm. like she was abused and stuff and raped and i did not like that book um i thought it it was very like misogynistic yeah. Because it was like, wow, if you just accept what happened to you and you realize it was just sex, you'll get over it. And I was pissed. Mm-hmm. And I was like, I hate this book. I was really angry about it. What is that paint bottle for at the bottom? Nothing. It's just decoration. Look, I can't do anything. Yes, you can. Never mind. You straight up pulled, you pushed it over there. Oh, wait, did it fall? No. Oh. I don't think so. I don't know what it does. I can't do anything with it. What's on the other side at the bottom? Like, on the floor next to the car? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, I thought I could go that way. Uh Uh, What? What's on the floor next to the car on the other side? I don't know. Let me go look. Okay. I've never really liked fantasy books. I haven't been, like, a big sci-fi fantasy book type of person. I like Um, fiction that can be, like, in real life. Unless it's, like, um... What the fuck is going on? Well... That was, I don't, ooh, I'm getting sick from that. Whoa. What, what was that? Is that real life? Whoa. Yeah. The what car has started now, I guess. There's a light up there? Uh, what Ow. the? Does anything happen to you when you get on there? No, not particularly. Just obnoxious. You're trying to get over there. Do you, do, do you remember that? Yeah. Um, um, I don't know what's going on. So... Like, I've read a few books that don't normally fit in my, what I would say I like. Yeah. Um, and I really like them. Like, so there's this book called, uh, called The Girl with All the Gifts. Mm-hmm. Gif- gifts. And, um, it's actually gonna be a movie soon. And I didn't know that. Mm-hmm. That it was gonna be, or it uh, is a movie already. I don't know. I didn't know that when I read the book. And the book, the back of the book sounded really, really strange. It was, like, a super short description. And, um, I, what I thought, what I felt when I read the description Mm -hmm. was the exact opposite of what all of the reviews on the book said. Mm -hmm. So that's what made me want to read it was because it was super, like, it contradicted what I thought about Mm -hmm. it. And so I read it, and it turns out that it was, like, this zombie book, but it was really good. Mm-hmm. Um, and it wasn't, it wasn't totally centered around can zombies. You, can you help me? Yeah, I can. And, um, it was, like, I don't know. It was very good. It had the same zombie plague thing. Um, did you set a timer by any chance? Oh, no. We're very much done with this episode. Oh, my goodness. Uh, I figured it out, bitches. Hold on. It had the same, like, zombie plague thing as The Last of Us. Um. That game? The Last of Us? Yeah, yeah. Okay, we gotta go. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye.